Today we're here with singer and model Madison Beer and we're doing a publicity shoot for her music today. So what kind of makeup do you want for your shoot today? I don't know, I think that we should go for like a bronzy kind of eye and like contour and a lot of lashes. Lots of lashes is yeah, essential. Typical, of course, yeah, like a vintage kind of look, I love that. I'm gonna be doing a really bronze smoky eye with a very heavily rimmed black liner, but kind of messy, not too perfectly drawn out and also lots of lashes. So I'm going to be starting with a cream eyeshadow. This is the Chanel bronze cream, just to give us a nice strong base. I applied the cream eyeshadow using a synthetic brush, and now I'm using a softer natural bristle brush to blend the shadow in. So we've finished with the cream eyeshadow, and now we're moving on to the powder. So I'm gonna be applying these shadow shields underneath the eye to catch any fallout. When I first started doing my makeup, I would put tissues under my eyes because I would always realize that I had like shimmery stuff all over my face after I finished, so these are definitely good and come in handy a lot. You should try these because they're so much easier than trying to hold the tissue there yeah, the whole so time. it's so frustrating trying to just like double task. <laughs> exactly, and you can almost create the shape of your eye shape as well by yeah. putting them in the right direction. Feels so weird. Feels weird? Yeah. They feel even weirder coming off, I'll warn you now. <laughs> so I'm starting with a darker bronze and we're gonna work into the socket line. So now we're taking a black eyeshadow to create the actual rimmed eyeliner. So I'm just pressing this right along the lash line. And the beauty of having these shadow shields underneath so we don't have to worry too much about making a mess with it. So now I'm gonna take the black shadow all into the bottom lash line, all the way across the bottom of the eye. Because Madison has beautiful big eyes, we don't have to worry about this making them smaller. If you had really small eyes, then you wouldn't take this line all the way into the corner. So I've seen a lot that if like people have really bright green eyes, they'll put like a purple mm -hmm. underneath or like a different color to like your eyes, like what are like good colors that you can use for different colors? So basically, you know, the color wheel, mm -hmm. whatever's the opposite color of your eye is what will make it pop. It's awesome, yeah, I just see that all the time and I think it's such a pretty look and it makes everyone's eyes like pop so much. Well, because brown eyes are mostly red based, mm -hmm. green really works well on brown eyes to make yeah. it pop. Now I'm gonna use this goldy bronze color as a highlight on the mobile lid. And to finish this eye look off, the shadowing, I'm just gonna do a pencil in a rim liner. So to keep with the vintage vibe of the makeup, I'm gonna do a full set of strip lashes on Madison today. Have you ever worn full sets, false lashes before? I've worn them on photo shoots and on red carpets and stuff, but I don't wear them often, so not really, but no, I they're, them. they're really fun. I mean, often, you know, people use individuals for a more natural feel, right. but we're not going for natural today. <laughs> so you just wanna dip it in some glue along your hand. Make sure you don't have too much because otherwise it will take too long to dry. What I usually do is just drag it through the glue. And if there's any big globs, I just kind of touch them on my hand so it's kind of fine. Look down for me. And then the most important thing to do is get it right into the lash line. And kind of hold it there until it dries a little bit. And you can, once it's on, you can kind of manipulate it a little bit and push it and pull it around. But the closer you can get it into the lash line, the better. So now with the mascara, look up for me. Who's my favorite little tool. And it has such amazing bottom lashes. You'd think she had false lashes on the bottom too. This little tool just stops you from getting the mascara on the skin. Never seen it before and I'm very excited about it. We need to get you one instantly. <laughs> I always end up with little dots all along my face. It's really annoying, so I'm really excited that I found out about this little thing. Well, it's most helpful when you're doing the top as well, and especially if you're using a full set of false lashes. I actually don't usually mascara the lashes first. I put the full set of false lashes on first and then mascara the natural lash to the false lash. Yeah. So now we just take off these strips. <laughs> it feels so weird. Feels weird? So weird. It tickles. 
Then we're gonna to need to put a little concealer where the strips were. I'm gonna do the contouring in two stages today. So firstly, just underneath the cheekbone, I'm using this foundation buffing brush. So how do you really find exactly like where your cheekbones are? So it's basically a straight line that comes straight out of the top of your ear and you can feel where it starts and finishes. I like to go just a little bit under it and then blend up a little bit. Then I also like to go across the temple. The reason people do that is to make your like forehead appear smaller, right? And Yeah, like, and more narrow. Right. It just squashes you in a little bit. Right. <laughs> it's usually a lot squashed. Yeah. So for highlighting, contouring and blush today, I'm going to use the NARS Guy Baudin. The bronzer here in the corner is the NARS Laguna. I'm using my fan brush for this because it gives the softest line. Then we're going to take the highlight colour up here. Across the top of the cheekbone. Uh, I think highlighting is like the most beautiful thing. It's so pretty. I love a highlight. Yeah, like the right shimmery like tones. So nice. Yeah. This one's beautiful. And sometimes I'll even do the nose with my finger and just like get it right down the center of the nose. Okay. Just to keep that glow. And then one of my favorites, or something to do with my finger, is the Cupid's bow. Just a little pop on the apple here. This is a combination of orgasm and super orgasm. And to finish it off, we're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Hepburn Honey for a soft nude with a little pink in it. Oh my God, I love it. It looks so nice. I love the highlight. Highlighting is to me is honestly so nice. I love like when you turn, it just like catches. The light hits it's so it. so nice, it's so pretty. Well, it's your thing as well. Like everyone's gotta have their thing and yes, you love your highlights, sure. which I is great. I love the highlighting and contouring. It looks amazing. Great. I'm excited to shoot. Cool, let's shoot it.